Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. Sorry I've been away for a little bit, been working on a few things that we'll talk about in the future. But in the meantime, I wanted to give you a little update on a couple things. First is going to be talking about the website. If you've ever wanted to take a training class with me but weren't able to travel to do that, well, I have good news. I'm going to start offering online fusion training classes. If you go to mechanicaladvantage.com, what you'll see across the top of the page are these different headers, and there's now a training header. You can get to this same spot by going to book now or training, but going to training first will show you the classes that are going to be offered. I plan on offering a lathe class, a fusion mill fundamentals class, and an introduction to parametric modeling. So the first two focus more on CAM, and the third being a very extensive class covering all things CAD inside of Fusion. Let's take a look at the first class that I'm going to be offering is the Fusion 360 Mill Fundamentals. So I call it fundamentals, but we're really going to cover a lot of information in this class. We're going to go through all the 2D tool paths. We're going to go through all the 3D tool paths. We're going to talk about automating your programming using templates. We're going to talk about patterning. We're going to create tool libraries. We're going to go through all those kinds of information. So if you ever uh, wanted to get started and really get a comprehensive look at CAM inside of Fusion for Mill, I recommend you go ahead and take a look at this class. The, uh, the class, if you want to sign up, it's going to be $6.95. However, if you use the coupon code MILL1, and I'll put this down in the comments below, the coupon code is MILL1, you'll get $200 off of the inaugural class. So it's a 16 hour class. Um, I'm gonna offer two sessions. I'm gonna do a morning session and an evening session. So for the morning session, people that sign up, it'll be from eight to noon, Monday through Friday, Central Standard Time. And for the evening session, it's gonna be from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Again, four hour chunks. And I really like the four hour chunk format. Uh, it, you don't get so overloaded with information. It's because we're not having to travel, we can spread out uh, our time a little bit without having to you know, be as productive as we can in two hour, eight hour days. And the other thing I like about this is you don't get so far behind in your regular job. Um, you can still catch up during the day and not fall so far behind while you're learning more about fusion. So again, uh, use code MILL1 for the inaugural MILL class and that will get you $200 off. I was gonna push this class out until February, but a couple people found it and signed up for it. And so we're gonna go ahead and run the January class. So hopefully some people are interested. It's gonna be capped at five people. It's live instructor based, and I'm going to be the one teaching the class. So um, you'll know what you'll be getting there. So that kind of wraps up the training side. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email or leave them in the comments down below. And my email address that you can reach me at is info at mechanicaladvantage.com. Now what I want to do is walk out to the garage and show you some things that have been happening out there. So this last week, the electricians were able to come over and they got the phase converter installed for me. So what we're looking at there is a couple of three phase panels and the electric heater, which is quite important in Minnesota in the wintertime. So you can see it's all wired in. It's run over and connected to the machine. And then if we kind of look down here, there's the motor for the system that adds the three phase power and the transformer sitting down below the machine. They have also run a, a circuit for the air compressor that will go and sit somewhere down right here. Unfortunately with COVID, it's become difficult to order the phase converter, or I'm sorry, the air compressor I want. Um, as of Friday, I ordered my third air compressor and I just checked my order and that was also back ordered. I'll throw a little information up on the screen with the compressor that I'm going to go with here, but I chose to go with an Eastwood scroll compressor. Um, it's maybe got a little bit more capacity than what I'm going to need, but the thing that was really important to me was the noise and it's rated at 63 decibels, I believe. 63 or 69, somewhere in that range. It's, it's pretty quiet though anyway. So let's come over here and take a look at uh, how this situation is set up. So this is the AOL 15 uh, phase converter from American Rotary. It's their UL listed version. And we decided to go with that, thinking that would make the process of getting my inspection taken care of and certified a little easier to go. This was all done by professionals. So I didn't do any of it. So basically what I have to come out when I want to use the machine is I'll come over here and flip this breaker on. 
Now if we look down here, you probably can hear it, but now the uh, transformer's running. And I just come over and hit the start button, and that fires up the motor. So we're all good there. We'll come back over here, and we're at the machine now. And all I have to do is hit the green button, and that starts to fire the machine up. Well, we're waiting for that to fire up and boot up. I'll also say that um, I've gotten tool holders to start coming in, tool holders and holders and collets and everything like that. I just got a couple more little items to go before I'm ready to run the first part. And what I'm gonna do for the first part is I'm going to run the speed vice handle that I did a video on, uh, the, one of the last videos I made. Take a look at the Siemens control while it's booting up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Quite a few of those speed by sandals i think and then i'll do them as a giveaway so uh, keep your eyes posted on future video for how you can get your hands on one of those speed by sandals for the giveaway so one of the concerns i did have was that uh the three-phase converter motor was going to be loud and that really isn't a big deal at all my electric heater is almost as loud as what the phase converter is so we're in pretty good shape right there i'm not too worried about that um, the electric heater is pretty good, so there you can see everything's all fired up. It tells me that I don't have any uh, air pressure because I don't have a compressor yet. Everything's pretty good in here. Um, things work pretty well. Uh, I try to keep the I try to keep it around 50 degrees in here, and I'm not out here working. Uh, and then it takes a while for this electric heater to be able to warm it up enough in here. So I went and bought a Mr. Heater propane. Uh, Force propane, forced air propane heater. And with this, I can get it up to speed in here pretty quickly. Uh, so it goes pretty fast. And in fact, I ran it for only about 10 or 15 minutes. See if you can see this number up there. That's the current temp in the shop right there in the garage right now. Um, after running that for a little while and going back in the house and letting it warm up. So obviously it's high, so it's gonna be warmer up there. But that little Mr. Heater can get things up to temp pretty good. So some other projects that I'm gonna have to do are, I'm gonna have to relocate my attic uh, point, the, the stairs. I'm gonna have to get that up above um, this area since I, did, I moved it from, it used to be right there where that white panel was right above the machine. And then we took it out because it doesn't make very much sense with the machine there. And we'll relocate that down, down farther over there. And then when we get that thing relocated, the other thing we have to do this summer is get insulation blown into the ceiling pretty cold in here and then I'll also work on getting this garage door which is going to be my Achilles heel for the heat uh, insulated up. So there you go there's a little quick update about some of the things that have been happening lately. I'm pretty excited to be, get, be able to get this machine up and running so I can get out there and start making things with Fusion out on the mill. If you have any questions please leave them below in the comments. You can email me at info at mechanicaladvantage.com and as always, thanks for watching.